Well, uh, today I'm going to try to teach you how to use custom attributes in C Sharp using NetCore. So uh, let's start by creating a new project, a new console project. OK, uh, console app in NetCore, next, and custom attributes, attributes sample. At custom attributes, just like this and create. So let's wait a little bit. Uh, Visual Studio. Sometimes I hate Visual Studio. OK. Finally, it's working. So we are going to create. Uh, let's start by creating a new class like this. Class client Excel report. And this class is going to have these attributes. Uh, a string for client name, uh, a string for client count country, an uh, integer for the age of the client, and uh, finally uh, a string for client status. So let's imagine you have you want to create a Excel report, but you don't have uh, you don't you don't have to use uh, these property names in the headers. And there is so many options to avoid that, but uh, one way is using custom attributes. For example, something like this. Epsilon column name, and we pass the name of the column. This is a very common example, so I'm gonna just copy and paste this. Let's imagine it's not the uh, not the current country where the client is living, but a uh, word client bar, bar, right? Let's say this is not J H, but client H. And uh, finally, current status instead client status. So next is create T class for this attribute. So uh, this class is going to be public. Public class at Excel column name attribute. We apply some basic uh, object oriented principle, this inheritance from this class attribute, which is in the class system um, assembly, right? So this class is going to have is going to have its constructor like this. And just we have to define property column name is equal it it's equal to column name. And finally, we define the property right here. That's all. So how do we how do we use this test this text, sorry, in the program? Okay, it's very easy. Uh, we can do that using the system reflection assembly. I'm not going to I know I am not going to talk about a lot out this assembly, but basically system reflection let us know uh, let us know about the uh, objects objects and classes itself by uh, I mean using reflection system reflection we can know the we can know the property names of each class 
or object of object, right? So uh, we are going to get the properties of this class mm, using the type of, for example, type of we pass this this class and the method get properties right now for each property in our properties are properties are right for each property we are going to get its attributes attributes right uh, for example Console right line, some text format, some string formatting. So we are going to write prop name property dot name, and we are going to check first attribute is defined, and uh, this is. We pass first the property and next the uh, type of type of of the attribute. In this case, is Excel column name attribute, right? Ah, this is property, not not prod. So is the attribute is defined, we are going to we are going to show in, in the console, right? So this is what are we going to print? Get custom attributes get custom attribute of the type of Excel column name uh, let's see what happens here oh, right. get custom attribute ok, we add system reflection assembly uh, I'm gonna do some zoom here and we have the column name so just click here and that's all and let's see what happened right I hate motorcycles let's see what happens right After some interruption from the antivirus, we have the prop name is client name, but we don't have the attribute. Let's see what what is happening. Right, just give me one second. Okay, uh, did you see the error? The error is in these conditions. Uh, uh, new view, new guy, I, I don't know, amateur error so we just erase this symbol negation symbol so now we are going to ex execute this program again yeah. uh, okay now we got the properties now we get the properties the prop name is claim name and the excel column name is full name the excel column name for claim country is bar country the prop name for age, age is claim age and finally is current status so this is a super 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 bad example about how to use uh, 
uh, custom attributes, right? Oh, what I did. Okay, so this is the all the video for today. Uh, I I know my I know my English is not the best one, but I just trying to do my best. So see you in the next video. Bye.